welcome back to David's Closet. If you are new here, um, please consider subscribing and welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, why? It's a good question. So today's, or this channel, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm trying to hurry to film this. I'm on my lunch break. I work from home today and Last week I wasn't able to get a video out and I don't like doing that. I do like to try to get them out every week even though I do allow myself one week a month to go ahead and not do a video if time doesn't allow for it. But last week I just, the week got away from me. So anyway I want to get this filmed now because after work I have a lot of stuff to do and the rest of the week kind of looks about the same so I don't want to scramble and end up missing again. So I'm trying to film this real quickly. So this channel, we talk about handbags, accessories, and small other goods, all from the male point of view. If that's something that interests you, subscribe. If not, why, why'd you click it? See, you do like it, which is why you need to subscribe, please. So <clears throat> today's video is going to be a collection video that I promised you a couple weeks ago, but then I bought some bags and there was some unboxings that had to be shoved in. So I'm gonna get this film today. And this is my coach collection. And as I was getting all of this out. I discovered I have a ton of coach, like a ton. So I'm not going to include small other goods or accessories. What I will do is an updated SLG video, kind of like I did, I believe about a year ago, where I just walked you through all my wallets. Um, the collection has changed. If you have left the collection, a lot have been added. So I will do that. And that will just include all brands, but it's primarily going to be coach because as we know, I don't like to spend a ton of money on SLGs and wallets. I do prefer to buy a more inexpensive wallet, like a Coach wallet, that you can get great quality, great leather, versus a multi, you know, a thousand dollar Louis Vuitton wallet, which I know I have, but that's another story. So before we get into the video, the bag of the week, which actually is perfect, is my Coach Rogue. My Rogue 25. Absolutely love this bag. Um, I'm going to close this. I think it's washing me out a little bit. That might help. Okay. So the Coach Rogue 25 is one of my favorite Coach bags. So we'll just go ahead and start here. Um, kind of like my Louis Vuitton video. Not going to go into a ton of detail. I'm just going to show you the bag, tell you a little bit about it, maybe if what I paid for it, if I can remember on all of that stuff. So this is the Coach Rogue 25. This is from the Boutique 1941 collection. On the bottom it says Glove Tanned Leather, Genuine Glove Tanned Pebbled Leather. It has four feet. It has the big chunky metal zipper that goes all the way around. It kind of has the cute little overhang that the Rogue is known for. It has beautiful sturdy handles, very similar to Lady Dior handles if you've ever seen those. Um, and they're mounted inside of the bag. So if you want to carry it crossbody or with a strap, there's these little hooks, which I love that they don't use these. I hate bags that have you just hook onto that because then you just have this handle flopping around in the wind. You can actually tuck these, and I'm not going to be able to do it because it's full, but you can tuck the it handles completely down inside the little side slip pockets. And then you can carry it like a shoulder bag because on each side there's these two little brackets. Um, you can carry it like a shoulder bag. It comes with the two straps. Um, you can also carry it as a crossbody. You can buy third party straps and have some fun with it. Um, sometimes I will clip um, one of my clochettes here and let it hang off. So it's just very versatile um, inside. It's three major compartments, two on the outside, one zip in the middle. Uh, the outside compartments each have their own little version of a slit pocket. On one side, it's just a little card ID holder. And then on the other side, it's a larger slip pocket um, <clears throat> that is canvas lined on the inside, suede on the out. The interior, again, is full of my stuff, but it's just the light canvas interior with a uh, button slip pocket, and that's it. Um, absolutely love this bag. I do like that it's the light canvas on the inside because it's easy to see things in here. Um, Positives, it's absolutely beautiful. It's very sleek. It's not logo mania. Um, it's beautiful, luscious leather. It's nice and soft, but yet sturdy somehow. Uh, materials, construction, excellent. Downfalls, it's a little heavy. And for how big it is, roughly about the size of a Speedy 25, it doesn't hold as much. This pocket is actually not super large. So um, that's kind of a downfall of it. 
but I do love her. I purchased it years ago, um, probably about a year or two. There's an unboxing, I believe, of it, so I could be lying, but I purchased it a while ago. Um, and I think I paid $5.95 for it. Um, I know they since have increased the price slightly on these. Still a great value for under $1,000. So, love it. I wouldn't mind adding some other colors, but at that price, I really have to love it to want more than one. So, Coach Rogue, $25. Um, and then next on my Coach Journey, <laughs> backwards, is my Coach Pillow Tabby. Uh, this is the larger one. I forget what the size is called. Um, absolutely love it. It's the beautiful glove tan leather. Leather inside has a little magnetic buckle. And then on the inside, three pockets. Two on the back and front. One on the back, one on the front, which are larger. And then a middle zip pocket that's pretty skinny. Um, it does come with a crossbody shoulder strap. And also this um, top handle. And if you're smaller than me, shoulder strap. Also comes with a puffy um, Coach Hang tag. Absolutely love this bag. Hated it when it first came out. Said I would never own that. Said that's the ugliest bag in the world. And then I bought it about a year after it came out, I believe. Um, so I absolutely do love this bag. I've used it a few times when we go out. One of my favorite things is actually just the way it's kind of gusseted on the side. It's so elegant with the gold and the pretty gussets. But then it's, it's trendy. It's poppy because... It, it, even though it's black, it's puffy. I mean, you look at this bag and you think that is very unique. So, love this bag. Paid full price for it, five ninety five. dollars um, I did see when I purchased it a couple of other colors that were discontinued, that were marked down, but I really wanted a black one. So, for me, it was worth the price. Haven't carried it a ton, but I do love this bag. The downfall is it doesn't hold a lot. And the shoulder strap length is weird. Continuing, oh, and that is a Coach um, Retail collection. Continuing on the Coach Retail, um, my Tate Carryall 29 in the black. Um, this was one of my first videos that I did, not the first, but one of them. Um, it doesn't photograph well because it is the gloved hand leather and there are veins in it. And um, they look like wrinkles, but there are veins in the leather. Um, has the gold buckle with the little bow, um, has the white contrast stitching, and then kind of just like the Rogue actually, um, except it's not suede, it has the two slip pockets on either side and the larger compartment in the middle with the double zipper. I of course have it stuffed, but it's the canvas interior. Same exact layout as the Rogue, it has the slip pocket with a button on the back. Um, and it does come with a long strap and then of course the attached Top handles, which just like the Rogue, fold inward. Um, the downfalls to this bag, kind of like the Rogue, the way it's structured, it does not actually hold a ton. Um, it's not my most used bag for that reason. Um, and then the handles are weird because the Rogue is thick enough where the handles can lay flat inside of the top and you can't see them. This you can't and you can't hang them off the side. So you just kind of have to just leave them awkwardly up like that. Not a big fan of that, um, and I'm also not a fan that there is, actually, I've had this bag for a year or more, and I just realized there's a slip pocket in the front. Okay, well that's interesting. So as you can see, there's a little slip pocket there, lined in canvas, um, and then leather on the reverse side. And it looks like it's oxblood leather, it is. Okay, that's embarrassing that I've had this bag that long and didn't know that. The back is not a pocket though. Um, gorgeous. I bought it when it first came out. I pre-ordered it. I paid, I think, $5.95. This bag has since been discontinued. And you'll see later in the video, I have another one that I purchased from the Reserve. Um, I've contemplated selling this just because I don't grab for it as much as I thought I would. But I'm afraid that it would have, I would have trouble selling it because it doesn't photograph well. It does photograph like it's worn, even though it's not, it's just the luscious leather. So, but this is another retail 1941 coach and it has feet. Another coach retail bag is the coach Cassie. This is the full size Cassie, not the small. Um, it's very similar to the Pochette Matisse and the old coach court bag. Um, has a slip pocket back here, strap holder or strap D rings. Um, it does come with the hang tag, of course, and it has the C twist lock. Open it up, oxblood fabric lining. 
And then you just have the three compartments, similar to the Pachette Matisse. Not going to go into much of detail about this bag. I absolutely love it. I use this on vacations when I want something that's a little nicer than a nylon travel bag. Watch my travel video if you're kind of curious about that. I tend to not bring my really expensive bags, especially if we're flying, because I'm not shoving a Louis Vuitton under our seat. So this is something that can fit in a suitcase. It's slim. It's it's pretty good and it's also classy. So if we go, for example, to New York and we go to a nicer dinner and I don't want to carry my long shop nylon or even my Prada crossbody nylon, I do have this, which is nicer. I purchased this when they discontinued them a couple of years ago and I paid, I believe, $250. I think it was half off the $500 price tag. Um, absolutely love it. Would never get rid of this bag um, and, you know, wouldn't even trade it for a Pochette Matisse because... I prefer this over the Matisse because the Louis Vuitton one is canvas. This is all other. So absolutely love this bag. We'll never get rid of it. Can you tell I like black coach bags apparently? I didn't even realize this. <laughs> um, another coach 1941 retail is my coach Ruby. And it also has four feet. And it has the glove tan leather stamp gold hardware. And it has kind of the gold mustard uh, contrast stitching double zipper and inside is lined with this beautiful mustard suede material with a slip pocket on one side and two little slip pockets on the other. Um, I'm not going to unstuff it because I have this bag stuffed really well but just like all the others in this category absolutely love this bag. Um, stunning, great quality, same handles as the Rogue. Um, similar obviously to a Speedy, I would compare this to the 25 size. Absolutely love this bag. Bought it as an alternative to a leather Speedy just because of price. Um, it does have turn locks on either side below the D-ring for the strap. Um, it doesn't do anything. I mean, you can untwist it and all you can do is pull this piece of leather out. Don't know why you would need to do that. A little odd, but, um, not really a big downfall to this bag. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, I love that it has the option for the strap. Uh, it does come with a long crossbody strap. You can also purchase other straps for it, all of that fun stuff. But love her. I purchased this not long after it came out, and I do believe I paid, I think this was $4.95. I don't think this was $5.95. I could be wrong, but I do know I also got a discount because it was my birthday. And I think it was $4.95 because I think I saved $50, which is the 10% they give you for your birthday month. So I love this bag. This is a Coach Messenger bag from the outlet. Um, it just has a magnetic closure. It does have the silver hardware, which I love silver hardware, especially with brown. I think it's so unique. Um, but it has a nice slip pocket here and then inside. Um, it's just one big compartment. There's a couple of slip pockets on the front side and in the back there is a zipper pocket with the Coach Creed. Um, and it's just a big open hole. It also came with the Coach Hang Tag. Um, absolutely love this. It's uh, non-detachable, just um, you can kind of see the strap there, just a seatbelt style strap um, with the Varsity strip through it, which is kind of Coach's thing. Um, this is my very first bag ever that wasn't like a giant messenger. So this is the first bag I purchased that was definitely more of like a handbag size. Um, used it a lot. Obviously, you can tell the leather is well worn. Um, there's a lot of corner wear and rubbing on this thing, but this thing is a workhorse. This bag is beautiful. It smells so good still. And this bag is seven, almost eight years old. So um, I love it very much. There's not a pocket on the back and there's no feet or anything. But even though I don't carry messengers very often, I am never getting rid of this bag because I just love it so much. Up next, we have my Coach Rowan in the Pride colorway. I believe this is the 2021 Pride collection from the outlet. Um, the one they did this last year, I believe the zipper fabric was a different color and they had different pulls. They were just the leather pull tabs, which I do prefer. I don't like these um, nylon shoestring style straps, um, but it's like a purple one on the front and like a pink one here. I do prefer that, but I don't like the purple strap. And I want to say maybe even the handle is a different color. Could be wrong. Of course, this is made of the coated canvas with the color. The rainbow color overlay has four feet. It comes with a really cool coat chain tag that says 
uh, in the pride color. Um, we know these style of bags is one of my favorite. I love speedies. This is very similar to a speedy. As you can see, it comes with a guitar style strap in the rainbow print with the brown that matches the trim. Um, it's a maroon interior and it has a slip pocket on the front and a little zipper section in the back as well as a zipper section up front. Um, and it does have four feet as you saw earlier. Um, definitely love this bag. Don't carry it a lot because obviously it's very loud, but I do carry it when I, um, in the summertime in June for Pride Month, I usually carry it for a week or so. Um, but I do absolutely love it. I'm never going to get rid of it. I wasn't going to purchase it when I did. Um, walked into the store to return something else actually, and I saw it and I took it. So I'm so glad I purchased it um, because I do like it better than the previous years. Because what Coach will do is they'll use basically the same bag and just make a few changes to it. And actually, you'll be able to see one of the changes here. Um, so this is actually my husband's. It's the, I believe it's the City Tote. But here's an example of the fabric. This is, we bought this one last year in 2022, by the way. So you can see the fabric zipper area is purple and the pull tab is orange. And that pull tab is pink. And you'll also see that the trim color is much darker. So I prefer this style to this. The only thing I like about the new one is the zipper pulls. So this is my husband's, it has no feet. He uses it when we go on vacations and stuff. Not gonna go into big detail. It's currently sitting in the closet because he left it on the, or it was in his closet and it fell on the floor and something was on top of it. So it was squashed. Um, so I'm currently reshaping it in my closet. So oh, we do like that though. We do use that when we travel. I also have the Coach Tate Carry All in color block. This is the same exact layout, except it has the gunmetal hardware. Um, but same layout as my other one that you saw the black one. This one honestly is just looks better. There's not as much veining. There's a little bit of it right there and up here. This bag has never been worn. As you can see, the tag is still attached. Um, so if you're curious about it, that's the tag. Um, again, I have never carried this one. I bought it for fall and then ended up not carrying it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but I got this one for $267 on the reserve clearance section on the outlet. So okay, up next, I have my Coach Lori carry-all. Um, it has, I don't want to undo it because it's set up for storage and display, but it has two side pockets that are magnetic with this beautiful red suede interior and then a zip pocket where um, I believe it's the fab like the coach maroon fabric on the inside um i do love this bag it comes with four feet it doesn't say gloved hand leather so i don't know if this is considered a 1941 on the back it has an exterior pocket it also comes with the hang tag which i don't have attached right now and then it has the coach c little clochette that hangs there suede sides um really want this bag and the all black with like the gunmetal hardware but I just can't justify the four to $500 price range. They had these on the reserve, or not the reserve. These were on clearance on the retail site for about $230 or $50. Don't really remember. Um, there's a video on my channel, so go find it and watch it. Um, that tells you how much I paid for it and the story of it. But it was half price at least, so probably about $250. Um, the straps are detachable and adjustable, but there's no additional like other strap that you'd want to put on it. I don't really know why they detach. Um, probably just so they can be adjustable, but I do love this bag. It's one of the few bags that can actually go over my shoulder. Um, haven't carried it in about a year, but I do love this and I'm not getting rid of it. So love her. So this is my um, thrift store find that my mother purchased for me. It's a Coach Legacy bag. It has the hang tag and the little tassels here that are not detachable. It's just one big tan interior pocket. Uh, it does have feet. It's well worn. Um, it was a legacy bag they did, I believe, back in 2013 is what it's dated, according to the serial code. And this was for the retail store. And um, these were kind of made to throw, be a throwback to original, like, old style coach. So I love it. I think she paid about $30 for it. So I love it. I do carry it. Um, not often, but once in a blue moon. And the last bag I have here... I don't want to take off the stand, is my new Coach Nylon that I just did a video on, so I'm not going to go into it, but I absolutely love this bag too, and I purchased this bag for about $132. That is a crash course in 
David's Closet's Coach handbag collection. Um, if there's anything specific you want to know, I believe I have videos on almost all of these. I'm just kind of glancing around and unbox most of these with you. Um, you know, when it comes to Coach, you have Coach Outlet and you have Coach Retail. They both have their pros and cons. The Outlet is typically cheaper overall. Sometimes though on sale, you can get retail bags for the same, maybe a little bit more, maybe even a little bit less than an Outlet bag. So you really have to watch those sales and see. The quality I do believe is a little bit different. Back in the day, I think it's before, I don't know the exact date, but there was a point where they stopped indicating on the Coach Creed patch um, if it was made for the factory outlet or made for retail. Um, if there was an F in the second part of the serial code, it meant it was made for the factory outlet. They don't do that anymore. I'm not sure maybe if they just design bags and make the determination after, you know, maybe they test it or, you know, do some test groups, you know, this would fit better for the outlet, this would not. I do believe the materials are slightly different. My Coach 1941 and retail collection bags, the leather is much more supple, it's soft, it just feels more luxurious, it feels more high-end, more top quality versus some of the leathers I have on some of my outlet pieces. Mostly it's my small leather goods and wallets that I have that are leather. None of my Coach outlet bags are leather and actually I only have two outlet bags and they're canvas. I have had leather outlet bags in the past though, and I can tell you the quality is different. However, they're still great bags, great quality for the price. Even with the increasing across the retail and the outlet line, you can still get a bag for a really great deal as compared to some of the luxury counterparts. So don't be discouraged by that. Um, I know you'll see here, I have primarily, um, well actually I lied. This is an outlet leather, but this one is unique. This is older too. Um, I like both, but you'll see most of my collection is retail coach, but that doesn't say anything. That just means that's what I prefer. And the reason I tend to purchase more of those is I'm comparing my bags when I'm out purchasing a bag and I'm making a decision, do I want to buy it? Do I want to bring it home? I have to think, okay, I have, and I'm very fortunate to have my closet with several very expensive high-end luxury bags, my Louboutin totes, my Louis Vuitton, my Prada, uh, my Chanel, and I have to think, is this worth comparing to that? Because while I'm carrying this, those very expensive investment pieces are going to be sitting in a closet while I'm toting this around town. Is it worth it to me? And I do find that the quality and price quality, as well as the price point of the retail line at Coach, fits better for me in that aspect. Now, that doesn't mean I won't purchase an outlet bag. Obviously, my nylon shoulder bag that I just showed you um, was an outlet purchase, so I'm not against it. But I always just kind of think of it that way. You know, is it worth putting a $3,000 Chanel bag in the closet for a week to carry this $180 coach bag that, you know, the quality may not be as good, etc. Maybe I don't like the design as much, but ultimately, I don't care about brand. I don't care about name. If I love the bag, I'm going to buy it, i.e. the Coach Nylon. So, um, that's my spiel on that. I think the outlet and the retail line are beautiful. I think they both have their pros and cons. I think that they both have bags that are excellent. I think they may have bags that aren't as great. So, um, if there's more you'd like to know about that, I would love to go into detail on that and do a whole video about the different brands, and maybe I still will. But let me know below. Please comment, subscribe, like, do all the things. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.